Welcome to today's Let's Discover video. On today's video, we're gonna have a look at Pop Mart enamel pins. And I thought for today's video, we could have a look at 10 different ones. So you can see I have a lot of different characters for today's video. I do have a lot of these. I don't really collect enamel pins, but I always find them so cute. So I do own a lot of them. I also have some that are more kind of on the jewelry side. And tomorrow's video, I'm actually going to be organizing all of my enamel pins. So if you are interested in enamel pins or how I display them, be sure to watch tomorrow's video. I'm so excited for it. But let's go ahead and get into unboxing. Who should we start off with first? I think I'm going to start off with this Molly auction one. I'm not a really big Molly fan, but I do really like the Molly pins, and this series is really fun. So I think this is going to be a really fun series to open. And this series is inspired by famous artwork as well. Each pin has a cat with it, which is super cute. I think I like this one. I think it's supposed to be Salvador Dali inspired. I think that one would be really fun. But now that we've had a look at the options, let's go ahead and open this up and see which our first pin is. One, two, three. Oh, I ended up getting the one I wanted. <laughs> this looks like the melting clock painting. Oh, I love it. It's so cute. And we do have a cat. It's kind of hard to see. It's that white cat right there. Oh, I love this one. This one is so cute. And I think most of them are going to come on this backing paper, which is the card for the pin. Oh, and this cat is gray and white. Oh, it looks like butter. This is so cute. So this pin is based off of the Persistence of Memory painting by Salvador Dali. When I was in school, I studied art history. I really love surrealism. So I think this pin is super cute. Oh, I think this might end up being one of my favorites. Let's go ahead and open up this Demu Where We Go pin next. This is inspired from the car series of Demu. So we have one for every single figure in that series. I really want this submarine cat one. I think that one's my favorite from this series. So that would be so cute to get. But let's go ahead and open it up and see who we get. This one has a pull tab. And one, two, three. Oh, we got the peace one that's a tank, which is an interesting choice. And it actually looks like there's a flocking or a bit of detail on the tank. It's not flocked, but it's kind of puffy. It's really weird. Oh, that's such an interesting texture to have on a pin. It's kind of like a soft touch vinyl, maybe. And this one's a bit different because it has a rubber backing to it. So here's a closer look at our Peacemaker pin. It's an interesting choice. I don't know if I'm really comfortable with calling a tank a Peacemaker. This pin does have movement to it. We can see the back, how it has that little up and down function. So Demu can kind of pop up from the tank and then go down. It's really subtle. I don't think I'm super comfortable with this pin, so I probably won't keep it. But if you were just looking at it aesthetically, it is a super cute pin. I do have a lot of Demu pins though, so let's grab another Demu series. This is Demu Aquarium. I love this series. I don't think I mind any of the characters we get. Although I do really like our killer whale one, the starfish, the polar bear, or the penguin. I actually was tempted to get a full series of this in not only the figure blind boxes, but also the enamel pins. I think this is some of the best Pop Mart enamel pins they've done. So let's see who I have inside. I'm so excited to see which one I got. One, two, three. Oh, we got the turtle one. Oh, the turtle one is so cute. 
The thing I loved most about this series is that you got a mini pin with it. Oh, and this backing is clear. Oh, that's really fun. Oh, I love this series. I think that is just such a fun idea to have like a mini pin and then a larger pin with it. These pins are interesting to say the least. I've been trying to get the pin backs off, but I can't get them off. They are really pretty though. I do love this pin. I hope I can figure out what's happening with the pin back. I've opened up a lot of Pop Mart pins and I've never had this issue. So maybe it's just this particular one I got. And I think next let's do something different. Let's grab the Hirano Little Mischief series pins. And I love how this matches the packaging for the series. Just super cute. I'm not sure why they didn't do the characters on this side. They've been squished all the way here. It's almost impossible to see them. Although on the actual blind box series, it's this kind of art style as well that Lang does. So it's really hard to see the characters even on the vinyl figure series on the side. I really love Hirano, so I don't mind. Whichever one we end up getting will be fun. But I'm interested to see what these are like. I think these are going to be a lot different compared to the other ones. So let's go ahead and have a look. Oh, I think this one comes in a blind bag instead of plastic. That's fun. Look at this cute Hirano bag. Oh, I love that. It looks exactly like the Little Mischief series. So let's open it up and see what enamel pin I got. One, two, three. Oh, we got the airplane one. Oh, the aviator. That's so cute. Ooh, and it turns. Oh, that is so neat. Even the backing is really fun and playful. Here No series always have a lot of thought behind them. I like that it continues even for the enamel series. And what do you think about this Here No one? It's really fun that the propeller spins for our plane. I don't think this was one of my favorites though. I kind of wish we had gotten a different one. But this one's still really fun and playful. This was another enamel pin series where I seriously debated getting all of them because they looked so cool. I wonder if any of you watching have ever gotten a full series of Pop Mart pins. I'd love to know or even what series you have as a pin. And I think next maybe let's grab our Sweet Bean Supermarket 2 that we have next to our Here and Now. And I'm not a huge Sweet Bean fan or a Supermarket fan, but I really want the Peach one. I think that's the one I want the most. Mm, this one looks cute too as a pin. I don't know. These are all pretty cute. We've I've never gotten a secret edition from a pin set, so it'd be really fun if we got a secret edition in today's video. Let's go ahead and see though. One, two, three. Oh, we got the other one that I liked. The one that is like an Oreo cookie. This one is cute. Oh, I really like this one. <laughs> and the name for this one is a sandwich biscuit. And again, the backing paper for this one is so cute. It looks exactly like the supermarket cards for the figures. I think this pin is really cute, but the details of Sweet Bean's face are getting a little lost. Because these are all kind of outlined in gold, you have a really reflective gold from a certain angle. And it's kind of hard to notice our super cute biscuit Demu is winking. I think I like this pin more than the actual series though. I think Sweet Bean is really cute as a pin. And I like how we have an Oreo on the head of Sweet Bean that is actually 3D and coming out. That little extra element is really cute. And I think next we'll do one of our non-pin kind of accessory blind boxes. And this is another Demu. This is Pets Vacation. And this is actually a bracelet with enamel charms on it. Oh, and I didn't show this series. Sorry about that. Where do we have it on here? On the bottom. 
So we have all of our pets vacation characters. And this just shows you the head of one of the possible charms. I think my favorites are Frog Gardener or Bubble Sailor. All right, let's see who we have though in our bracelet. One, two, three. Oh, this one is so cute. This is the snorkeling one. And I think we have a dog there. Oh, and a rubber ducky. Oh, that's hilarious. Ooh, it's all falling out. So the backing is really simple for this. It just says the character name, which is Puppy Bather. And here's a look at all of our charms. So we have a rubber ducky. We have our Demu with its mask on. And then that just says Demu. And we have our dog that is getting bathed. And here's a look at the size of the bracelet. I don't know if this will fit me. This looks really small. But we do have some adjustableness for the length. And you can see that all of the charms come with their own little hook. So you can actually take this completely off the chain and attach these little enamel charms to anything you want. I was able to get it on my wrist, which is awesome. So it looks like it'll fit a lot of people. And it is just super cute. I love it. I think this is such a nice piece of costume jewelry. I don't really wear a lot of gold. I only wear silver, but I definitely am going to keep this. I think this is a really fun thing to wear. Let me know what you think down below about this Pop Mart bracelet. I would be really curious if you would buy this. I think for something that's under $10, this is a really nice bracelet. And I think the next series we'll do is the one that is kind of another fashion accessory. This is Pucky, What Are the Fairies Doing? One of my favorite Pucky series. I have the full case, so again, I don't think I mind too much which one I get. I love jellyfish though. Rainbow Eater would be fun to get. I think any of these ones would be really cute to get from this series. And this is a safety pin style of pin. They did a series like this with Skull Panda as well. I don't have any of the Skull Panda ones to show you, but I thought I would show you this Pucky one. And let's see who I got. Oh, which one is this one? Oh, this one looks so cute. So this is kind of like the bracelet. It comes with a lot of little charms as well as our main Pucky charm. And this one is rose gold in color. Oh, I love that. And this one is a bit tangled up, but I got it a little bit untangled. We have our Pucky with a sleeping mask. This one is called Goodnight. And we have one of our sleeping Pucky beans. And this one's a bit harder to show you because it's very dangly, but I love that about it. I really like the rose gold color. This would be awesome to put on a jacket or a bag. And then on the back is just kind of a rose gold color. I think the charms for this one are super cute. I love our Pucky. And our little Pucky bean is adorable. I think the leaf is a little too small. You can't really tell what it is. And it does have some glitter on it. But it's really hard to see the glitter. I think the leaf should have just been a little bit larger so it didn't get lost. But I think this is really cute. And it really matches this series. I would definitely buy another one for this one. So I think this one might be one of my favorites we've gotten so far. And we don't have many left. I think we're going to do our last Demu one. This is the Forest Night series of Demu. A pretty old series. And you can see on this side all of our options. They look exactly like the series. There's so many fun ones here. I think I would really like Dark Rose or the Baby Bat. I still don't have my Baby Bat figure from this series. Or maybe the Owl Night Watcher one since I do have the figure for that. But let's go ahead and see who I got for this one. This is one of the series I was most excited about. One, two. Oh, we got the Mushroom one. Oh, that is so cute. I'm trying to remember now because I've opened this series a few times. I might already have the mushroom one. I'll have to double check. 
because this is one of the enamel pin series that I've opened the most. So maybe I have our mushroom one, but if I don't, I'm really excited. This mushroom one is super cute, and this one is just called Mushroom. And this is another one that has a bit of sparkle on it for the mushroom. It's kind of hard to tell though, it's not super reflective. This one is just super simple and cute. Nothing extra about it besides that little bit of glitter. But I think it's adorable. And we only have two left. I think I'm going to go for our Year of the Tiger one next. This series was really interesting for the pins because a lot of them are interactive and they move. So they're kind of like our Demu one here. They're a little bit different, not just a basic pin. I do know some of them are just basic though. I'm really hoping for the Pucky one. The Instinct Toy one would be amazing. Skull Panda would be amazing. I have the Bunny one and it's super cute. I actually bought a lot of boxes for this. I've ended up getting the Bobo and Coco one twice. So as long as we don't get Bobo and Coco, I think I'll be happy. But I really want the Pucky one or Instinct Toy or Skull Panda. Those are the ones I'm hoping for most. Let's see, one, two, three. Oh, I got the bunny one again. <laughs> this one is super cute though, don't get me wrong. It's just a repeat, but it is still a very, very cute one from this series. So this one is called Happiness and Peace. And this is one of the ones that doesn't do anything interactive with it. It's just cute. I really love bunnies, so I'm not mad about this one at all. Maybe I'll put one in my display and then I'll put this one on a bag. I'm definitely going to keep it though because I love bunnies so much. I'm a little bit sad I didn't get an interactive one because I wanted to show you them. This series had some really interesting pins, so I thought it would be fun to show you because Popmart does a few series once in a while that are really interesting and different for pins. And we only have one series left. This is the Skull Panda one for City of the Night. And this is like a double pin with chains between it. I love pins that do this. This is definitely my style. And you can see on each side are six different options. I've opened up one of these before and I forget which one I got. I think I got that one. I'm really hoping for the butterfly one. Yeah, the butterfly one is really cool or the secret. I think this one would be fun too. Oh, maybe I got that one. I can't even remember which one I got now. But this is really cool, and I love Skull Panda. So these are Skull Panda with a little charm. I love this style of pin to actually wear. So this is my favorite one that we're opening in terms of series. So let's go ahead and open it up. Oh my gosh, I got the red one. Oh, this one is beautiful. For a second, I thought it might be the secret edition, but this is just the regular series one that is red. And these ones in terms of the card are a bit different. They're like a really big card like this. I'm not sure why though. I think you can kind of set it up as a display. And this is another one that's a bit hard to show because of the chain, but we have our super glittery rose here and it has like a little dangly bit in red chain. I love that. I think that looks so cool. And then we have our main skull panda figure and you can detach the chain in the back. It does come off if you don't want to keep it and you just want to have this on its own. I think this one does look a bit creepy though because this is the marionette figure for this series and the eye bags are really creepy. But I think the bobble rose details are really cool and the hair looks really awesome. I think some people would say it's a bit creepy though. I like how this one is silver in color though and not gold. I think it looks great and I love how long our little dangles are. 
I think this would look so cute on an outfit. What do you think of all of our enamel pins that we opened? Are you into enamel pins or you prefer blind boxes that are for figures instead? I think their enamel pins can be really fun and they're kind of like merch for Pop Mart. And I think it's fun, especially because they're usually on the more affordable side, although they've been creeping up in price. But a lot of these were given as freebies with orders, so I definitely didn't necessarily buy all of these. I bought about half of them. In terms of series I would buy again, I would definitely buy another Hirano one. I actually really liked this Sweet Bean one. I love the Forest Night one as well. And our Demi Aquarium, if I can figure out how to get that off the backing paper, I still love that series. I can't buy any more of the Year of the Tiger ones because that was last year, but I wish I could. That series was really fun. I think maybe my favorites are our Pucky one and our Skull Panda one. Those are probably the only two that I would wear on an outfit or a bag. I think the rest of them I think are just fun to display in my office. Although I could definitely see these in a Pop Mart themed Eda bag. I do have an Eda bag, so maybe I should do a Pop Mart one. I almost have enough of the Demu ones. I could do a Demu Eda bag. But if you had fun watching me open these blind boxes of pins, be sure to watch tomorrow's video where I do my display of them. And I am going to have all different types of enamel pins. So I do have some indie brand artist ones and some Finding Unicorn ones. And I definitely hope you check it out. But I hope you have a great night and you enjoyed this unboxing.